What's up guys? Sam Phillips here. I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got at and on my way to the Grove Coin Show. So, um, we'll start over here with some souvenirs from my road trip. I uh, stopped at Wall Drug in South Dakota. I always do every time that I go through that area. Got me a bumper sticker and a little uh, Wall Drug Sheriff uh, pen. Then I stopped in Iowa, Sioux City, Iowa, and I got a pen from the Sergeant Floyd uh, Monument. Oops, it's upside down. Oh well. I got an Iowa pen and a South Dakota pen and a Nebraska pen, as well as two Sioux City, Iowa bumper stickers and some bumper stickers from the Sergeant Floyd Monument and the Riverboat Museum. As well as a magnet that says somebody in Iowa loves you and then uh, this morning about 3 30 in the morning I got to the coin show place and when uh, when it opened up I got to meet a bunch of awesome youtubers so I'm gonna start with the coin crew stickers they were the first ones that I saw when I came in that I actually recognized and so I came over and grabbed a handful of stickers and talked to Keith and Angel for a bit and of course Ravenhawk, um, he's one of my favorite stream guys. I got me a little coin community sticker that's all reflecty. And over the course of the rest of the couple hours that I was there, I talked to Dad Learning Coins, Scrapping Hoarding Tinkering Fun, uh, Walker Magnet, Copper Owl Coins, Paw Spare Time. I got me a Mount Stackmore sticker. I also got the t-shirt, but I'm not showing that because uh, I sweated a lot in that thing. <laughs> um, Paw Spare Time had some pretty cool mini coins and a lucky token. I really hope I got the, that one right because I my brain's not really remembering very well on some of these. Uh, Bo Palmer, Coin Hunter. Um, Who's your stacker? Unfortunately, my sticker got a little bent in my bag after I packed up. Uh, Sandman Coins, Everyday Opportunity, Live Coin Q&A, Armando from the Vault. Got a couple of different Coins Making Sense stickers. Really like those reflective ones. Those are cool. Baseman 64, Mad Stacker. Of course, I had to pick up a Silver Seeker collectible card set. Tasman Coins. Coin and Card Hobbyist. Got me a Shardalani sticker. I have a ton of RFT stickers already, so I didn't get any of those. Um, and Paula. And then for the coins, I'll start out with some that I bought on my way in. This was at uh, a store in Wyoming. I got me a Casa de Moneda. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if it'll show it. There we go. A real nice example of one of those. 1980, I think it is. Got a little bit of weird toning on that side, but or some sort of damage. I'm not sure. And some foreign coins. I'm not gonna bother getting those out. I of course, had to pick up the RFT Silver Skunk Round. Um, from Mike at Midwest Coins, I got a 1990 ASE. Real happy to have that. Because although I sold my typeset and the books, I'm, of course, going to start another one. I got a bunch of Canadian coins for my uh, typeset. I got the British Columbia um, Centennial. Oh, yeah, I got to flip those the other way, don't I? Got a $19.35 dollar. I got a 1917 half dollar. 1952 half dollar. 1957 half dollar. And a 1965 uncirculated almost looks like a proof that may actually be a proof I don't know real nice looking one those were all from the same seller as well as this Russian coin which is really cool it's a half Copic and it doesn't want to focus very well but uh yeah there you go 
one half Copic from 1893, 1898, sorry. And I had to pick up a 1927 piece dollar. I looked all over the show and finally found one at uh, this one guy's booth. But that is in memory of my grandpa, who was born that year. Um, and at the same uh, seller, I got a 1986 Liberty commemorative hat, as well as a 1991 Rushmore commemorative hat. That's pretty cool. Also at the Foreign Guys booth, got a couple of bills. This one is, I believe, China Republic Bank. Oh, oh oops, sorry, upside down. Central Bank of China, one yuan, from 1936. And then a Japanese government, one dollar, from, uh, I think, 1942. Pretty cool. And then, I guess last but not least, I bought some RFT boards from Teacher 1388. Um, this is a bronze one and two coppers. He gave me a really good deal and... He also uh, helped me out at the show because I was getting overheated and he made sure that I got some water and he gave me an aspirin because he thought maybe I was having some heart issues and I really appreciated that. I felt much better after that. But anyways, this is what I got at and on my way to the Grove Show. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, it was awesome meeting all you guys. Um, happy hunting. Thanks for watching.